All right, hands down, I would easily call this woman the most dangerous woman in Christian music today. An absolute fraud pretending to love Jesus, using Jesus as a stepping stool to gain fame and fortune. Now, before you get all mad at me and turn this video off, I encourage you to watch till the end uh, because we're going to further expose this fraud today, uh, again, who's pretending to be Christian, as she recommends an absolute Satanist uh, to her fans to listen to. So with that, let's take a look at the article that came out in the Christian Post today. All right, so here we are in the Christian Post. Um, fresh off the presses, Lauren Daigle talks Kanye West, Billie Eilish, and missing being unto her having human interactions. I'm not going to try to drag this on for a 20-minute video, but you can certainly come and read this article. Let me move it over a little bit here. And as she's getting interviewed, she's talking about, I'm, I'm just going to forward down here, uh, right here, Daigle kicked off her at-home playlist. First on the list is Kanye West. So she's recommending an unrepentant fraud, Kanye West, who has not brought uh, forth fruit meat for repentance. Um, that's who she's recommending, number one. But <laughs> shocking, but not shocking. Another artist featured on Daigle's list of songs is Billie Eilish. Now, for those of you who don't know who Billie Eilish is, stay tuned. We're going to show you right now. The article goes on. The popular star Eilish, known for her dark-themed music and style. Boy, is this the understated of the whole article here. Um, Billie Eilish recently revealed that as a child she was very religious, despite not being raised to believe in God, but now she's neutral and is open to every belief pretty much. Well, that's good. So Christian Lauren Daigle, again, promoting this. Uh, it's okay with her uh, having fellowship with uh, the unfruitful works of darkness. Uh, Daigle talked to Apple Music about Eilish and her music producer, Phineas. She goes on uh, to talk about uh, Eilish. Her ability to sing is awesome. And Phineas... What a hero. That dude is a legend. He is a mastermind, master creator. I have a lot of respect for Phineas in the way that he does things and then the way that they are able to capture air, uh, air over Billy's vocal. I love it. This is how she's talking about Phineas. So, again, who is Billy Eilish and who is Phineas? Well, let's take a look. Here's Billy. So this is Billie Eilish. I think like literally like a 17, 18, 19 year old, 19 year old girl. Um, and the image that you're looking at is from a very satanic video uh, from a very satanic song called All the Good Girls Go to Hell. Just a just a, a real toe tapper, uh, which really is, you know, good uh, visual and audio for the children of this world. In the background, you can see. I don't even know what how to interpret this video. It's satanic beyond belief. You can certainly go watch it on YouTube. I don't recommend that you do it. It's purely satanic. Um, and then to prove it, so you got the video, we're going to take a look at the lyrics right now. And again, I'm pointing out just this one song, because again, this is who Lauren Daigle says is awesome and brilliant and genius. Uh, let's take a look at the lyrics. So here we are. We're going to look at the lyrics. Again, the name of the song is All the Good Girls Go to Hell. Uh, right out of the gate, My Lucifer is Lonely. <laughs> uh, way to go, Lauren Daigle. You're just doing great. Let's read through this. Standing there, killing time, can't commit to anything but a crime. Peter's on vacation, an open invitation. Animal's evidence, pearly gates look more like a picket fence. So let's, let's insult heaven. That's always a good idea. Once you get inside them, got friends but can't invite them. Hills burn in California, my turn to ignore you. Don't say I didn't warn you. All the good girls go to hell because even God herself has enemies. Now, I'm not really sure. Maybe this is one of the reasons why Lauren Daigle liked um, Billie Eilish. And particularly this song might have really sealed the deal for her because we know that uh, Lauren Daigle had no problem promoting a female god in that movie, The Shack, and she does an interview. You can go watch the interview. But uh, I find it, again, blasphemous beyond all belief. All good girls go to hell. Uh, so we've come down. She'll want the devil on her team. My Lucifer is lonely. 
And you can read through all this. This is unbelievable. Um, man is such a fool. I'm, this is like right out of the lips of Satan. Uh, but he's not wrong because I'll point that out even before uh, the video ends here. Read through this. She'll want the devil on her team. So here's here's just one of the songs by Billie Eilish, uh, which maybe this was the one that inspired Lauren Daigle to recommend her and put her on her playlist. All right, so I'm in the book of Joshua, and I'm going to read some verses in chapter 24, very pertinent for today, because you're going to have to choose. Enough of the nonsense. Look what Joshua said. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him with sincerity and truth. Are you serving the Lord, or do you have an idol set up in the form of Lauren Daigle? Because if you do, I can tell you right now, you're not serving the Lord in sincerity and truth. He goes on, he says, Put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. Very, very important, because that is exactly what's happening today. You have to choose especially after hearing of the latest nonsense as Lauren Daigle furthers her walk away from God. Not that she was ever in God. I truly don't believe she was. Again, it comes down to tactics. If you've not seen my previous videos, you can certainly go watch uh, the videos I've done on this fraud there in my library. But it always proves to be the bait and switch. Draw them in with little tender loving songs by the way let's get the girl that sounds just like adele put her into a christian music uh, scene and now everybody's cried and she's successfully drawn you all in and now comes the turn the switch oh i'll do an interview with the christian post and oh by the way on my play playlist i've got billy eilish i think she's awesome now because specifically because of what she's done Tens of millions of followers are going to put Billie Eilish, seemingly innocent, on their playlists. So she's drawn them in, and then she turned them. It's not a new tactic. Remember Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, just a just a goofy little Disney TV series, you know, all kinds of hijinks. And then she graduates from that TV show. She grows up, and she turns into an absolute prostitute. And now all the millions of little girls that followed her. Uh, she's taught them how to be a prostitute. So they're all prostitutes. Unbelievable. Is anybody paying attention? Does anybody care? Absolutely inappropriate. And no alleged Christian singer should ever be attending worldly music award shows. It's incredible. But here we are. I know that I show this set of scripture quite a bit because it is so pertinent to what I'm doing in exposing actual ministers of Satan. But in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, scroll down, we can read this together. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing that his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. This is happening. Sadly, the majority of you who think that Lauren Daigle can do no wrong uh, will continue to believe that, and you will not see this. But I have to tell you, no matter how hard you try to stay faithful and true to somebody like Lauren Daigle, here's the fact of this matter. This woman is putting actual Satanists on her playlist and recommending it to all of her followers. You can't deny that. But the question remains, what are you going to do now that you know? What are you going to do with this information now that you know this? You can't deny it. I pray to God that you will serve Jesus Christ and come out of this filth. 